So today we're going to be talking about Krillin and 18. Uh, so they come out during the ninth year anniversary and they come out on whose banner? Man, how am I forgetting this? Uh, Broly's banner? Am, am I crazy? Is it Broly's banner? Wow. Is it Broly's banner? So I'm pretty sure Broly is the... Yeah, Broly's the... No. No. No, no, this isn't Broly. They don't come out during Broly's banner. They come out on Beast Gohan's banner, because Beast Gohan is the red coin LR. Yeah. Oh my god, my memory is terrible. Yeah, they come out during uh, um the part two of the ninth year anniversary. Right? Yeah, because this is February 16th. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm tripping today. Let me know if I'm wrong down below, please. Uh, I Feel free to correct me. Because I was thinking, wait. That was Freeze that I came out on Broly's banner. And Krillin18 come out on Beast Gohan's banner. I believe I'm correct about that. Alright. Don't mind me, guys. It's early in the morning. Uh, so, alright. So, Krillin18, uh, Adversity, Shattering, Allies. The leader skill is Join Forces or Battle of Wits 3 key. And 130% across the board. And their super attack, that being the Husband and Wife combo. 50% attack and defense one turn. And lower attack and defense. Nice. So, they have a good set of super attack effects. Their passive, that being Heroes to the Rescue. 2 key and 180% attack and defense at the start of turn. And they get a baseline 30% chance to dodge. As well as them getting crit chance and additional dodge chance plus 30%. And super heroes uh, category allies get 1 key when there's another super heroes category ally attack in the same turn. So cool, they get additional crit chance and dodge chance. As well as giving super heroes category allies 1 key when they of course have a super heroes category ally attack in the same turn. And they also get additional 30% attack and defense up to 90% with each attack dodged. So just, just that, they just get that for free. And they get an additional 180% attack and defense within the same turn before this character receives an attack. Nice. And they also give superheroes category allies 50% attack and defense for two turns when HP is 50% or more at start of turn. So they're giving superheroes category characters one key and 50% attack and defense. Of course, the key is only within that one turn, but that attack and defensive buff for superheroes category allies is just for multiple turns, which is obviously very nice, but you're going to be above that HP threshold at the start of turn. So they're giving 50% attack and defense to superheroes category characters. They build up attack and defense for each dodge uh, that they... Uh, of course, um, evade for attacks. And uh, they get an attack defensive buff within the same turn before they receive an attack, which is obviously cool. Um, this card is solid. Solid support. Yeah. But the question is, are they worth running on superheroes? Considering the fact that superheroes is very, very stacked. Probably not. Probably not. And then Link Set. Experience Fighters. Uh, Courage. Cold Judgment. Brainiac. Solid Support. Turtle School. Fierce Battle. Makes, makes a, a lot of sense. Um, and their categories that they're on, Join Forces, Movie Heroes, Battle of Wits, Battle of Fate, Bond of Parent and Child, and Super Heroes. The problem is, uh, although they are a monstrous support to Super Heroes, that being them giving one key and up to 50% attack and defense for multiple turns, the one key is just only within the same turn, but the 50% attack and defense is for two turns, self-excluded. Um... I would argue they aren't really worth running considering the fact that you do have the LR Gammas running around. Yeah, and the Gammas give just better support. Yeah. Let me just go ahead and pull up the Gammas. Don't the Gammas give the same amount, if not almost the same amount of support? Let me see. Yeah, they give... Yeah, the Gammas are just better. The Gammas give not only superheroes, but they support Defenders of Justice and Join Forces with 3 key and 50% attack and defense. Like, what? Is that all throughout their little uh, standby and, of course, going into Gamma 1? Um, yeah. Same thing for the standby. And is that the same thing for Gamma 1? It is. Yeah. So, I would argue, if you have the Gammas, why are you running them? Um, maybe for more support? I guess that'd be the only reason. But if you run double uh, LR gammas, what's the point of running them? Just for more support? I would argue that, like, taking a look at superheroes, superheroes is so, so, so top heavy if uh, superheroes like to load. Thank you, uh, Dokkan Wiki. <laughs> uh superheroes is so top heavy you have beast gohan you have the gammas for the support of course which is why i would say that the gammas are way more of a better option over uh, krillin 18 um it's just because the gammas are giving 
they're getting more key and they're going to be consistently given that 50 percent attack and defense and you have to be above the hp threshold for you to give that support anyways it's crazy that their support their support is restricted but the great thing about their support is that it is two turns but if you have gammas on each rotation like you can't just go wrong with it but the thing is with that is that gammas as floaters and you just have like these gohan you have lr agl ui you have tech ui you have who else of course you have the gammas obviously you have eb you have str ui i don't care if he doesn't dodge for you he's still a good option uh who else do we have we have the ninth year gogeta we have evo ken uh who else i mean you could run killing 18 they're not a bad option on this team um granted you do have those reps you seven characters you could go ahead and get away with 17 18 granted on the uh, situation you have gamma one who has aged like beautiful just fine wine um yeah i would argue there's probably no reason to run him on the team probably not probably probably but the thing is, is that superheroes are so goddamn stacked that maybe it doesn't make sense maybe they're great as like a sixth option but outside of that i would say no because the lr gammas are running around it's like if you do if you don't have the lr gammas sure go ahead but even if then there's so there's just so many just great options to run this team that i pretty much just read out yeah that's with that i think this team is like so so top heavy but is it like balanced in the way of top heavy probably not it's like all the strongest options need to be ran on the team and they are staple options right uh but anyways uh the 200 percent skills that they're on they're on beast gohans they're on gogetas they're on both of uh beastless and orange piccolo's 200 percent leader skills battle the wits 200 percent leader skill as well as vegeta and trunks's fodder just outdated ass 200 percent leader skill so that's six 200 percent leader skills cool i would say that running them on you you but you wouldn't run him on movie heroes though i mean but he's of course uh, he's superheroes um you yeah you want this card on superheroes exclusively and what's crazy is that five out of the seven two hundred percent five out of seven five out of the six excuse me it's 200 percent leader skills are superheroes characters so uh with that being said um let's go and see what the best linker partner is i mean this guy <laughs> um chunks in my no um in my hell no um just like no like yeah um maybe no just no <laughs> so yeah, that's about it um just like a probably not like just a seventh uh, seventh a sixth option excuse me um it's, and it's early i'm sorry i just wanted to get this out the way so uh, that's curling 18 um that's the unit review do they perform well in today's meta absolutely dodge character you build in full dodge, you build up attack and defensive buff um, just permanently. They dodge three times, they get additional 90% uh, attack and defense. They get 180% attack and defense in the same turn before they dodge. They support, which is nice. One key and 50% attack and defense. Cool. They get additional uh, crit chance and dodge chance. They get up to a 60% chance to dodge. They're, they're good. They're good. I have almost no complaints. Like, maybe are they dodge or die? so long as you build on full dodge because this character is not really going to be doing damage for you you're going to be completely fine um link sets a little wonky um not really in too many category teams and you do want to build on full dodge as well as them having a way better option over over them that being the lr gammas but outside of that they're not bad as a six option if you want all of the support if you want a crazy amount of support you run double lr gammas and you run curl 18 yeah did i glance over another support type unit I think I glanced over another support type unit. Yeah, I probably have. Yeah, I think I did. Hamma too. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Peace.